just continue the campaign that I've been here for a while. Um, I was testing the intro because I put the music on the intro, but it doesn't work too well, so I don't know if I'm gonna keep it like that. Um, and I need to check the positioning of uh, of so some certain stuff. Oh god. Right, so what positionings do I need to check? I think I need to check the positioning of the goal bar. So give me just a second here. I am going to put it elsewhere. I think there's pretty good. Okay, just lock that. Let's go back. Okay, there we go. I think that's a pretty good place for my um, objective bar or, you know, whatever you want to call it. And now let's keep going. So last stream I ended up, I was chatting with Niek, AC. I was chatting with him and doing some conquests in the meantime. And here's what we got. We got a couple of, uh, of settlements here in Iberia, which uh, they're pretty good. I'm at war with both, both Spain and Portugal and I need to start taking care of it. Um, so I'm just going to take my castle units. And I need to hit them. I think that the Moors want to attack me as well, to be fairly honest. Uh, let me just take a look at something. Wait. Uh, I need to just uh, make sure that the microphone is working again. Yeah, it is working. That's perfect. Okay. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, I, I know it's working. Whatever. Um, I just cannot see chat yet. I will be able to. No worries. Okay. So, <laughs> the Pope hates us again. Um, right, the Pope yes. hates us again. No problem, that's okay. I can live with the Pope hating me. At least for now. Wait, you shouldn't or go there. there. You should go to Sofia then. Um, I need to build a couple of towers in Sofia, so... Okay, let's see here. What could I build here? I have a lot of money, so I'm just going to build stuff. Um... Let's just get the walls. I need to level up that settlement. What about you? I think you need another priest. Um, am I at war with these guys? No, I am neutral. Alright. But I'm going to need... Ugh. My character here died last uh, last stream. That, that kind of sucked. I lost him. Uh, and that was not good because I needed him now at this point. But okay. It's okay, it's okay. We're gonna leave, live. Okay, so what about here? What did we get here? Oh yes, I had an army going that way, yes. yes. We're gonna finish off the Byzantine Empire. That's gonna be fun to do. Okay, I'm going to need to get all of these buildings, get a little bit of um, public order and stuff there. So that's going to be absolutely nice. I can greet you, but not serve you, Lord. Um, okay, I need to get some troops over here. You know what I could do? I could get a bombard. Bombards are pretty good. Uh, but at this point, May maybe maybe go for something else. I'm I'm making troops in Valencia and Zaragoza is um, just there. Okay, I have a lot of troops here in Italy. Yes. Jesus, I I need to take care of these guys. Yes, this is where we oh! Right, two in one. That's how you kill rebels. Okay, that's how you do it. Two rebels and one strike. Oh, and I didn't even lose anybody. Okay, that's perfect. Okay, so what do we have up here? Antwerp. Okay. I think I think our castle units can go away now. I don't need them anymore. Let's just make them go this way all the way around here. This is the problem about having just a few castles, is that if you have castle units, it'll take a long time to get anywhere. But um, good thing is, these archers are not really that great. I, I prefer to have the crossbows anyway. 
but I tried them and uh, just that was pretty good. I think I think it is time also to move against Poland because they're not very strong here in the border and I could just take them out easy, right? Um, maybe this would be the challenge, but I could take this one, go there, this one, go there, and maybe this one, get there, and then try to pincer Krakow from Thorn and Budapest. Hey Spike, what's up? How are you doing, man? All good? I've yet again added um, something to the stream, and I've added that um, follow goal bar. See if that makes people... You know, when I'll go like, yeah, let's... <laughs> well... I hope I hope I can end bore you a little bit. You know, take that boredom out. Ooh, that's nice. What, what, what keyboard did you get? Keyboard full of colors, I hope. I love those. Okay, here. More, more, more happiness buildings. Okay, a port, that's very helpful. What do we have here? Oh, let's go do that. Yes, happiness buildings as well. So, what do the Docklands have? Well, they both... No, 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 I, I want the Docklands here first. What about Constantinople? Yeah, I'm got, gonna go do that. <laughs> Rome V2, I mean. RGB is expensive. Ah, uh, okay. I actually have one that switches between, I think it's... Okay, let me see. It's purple, uh, blue, and red. But it's the, the only three colors available on it. Uh, and it was, what, maybe 20 euros, maybe 25 euros of uh, this keyboard. So it was pretty cool. And it's nice, I like it. Yeah, but, but RGB is usually expensive. Right, I'm gonna pass the turn. I don't think I have anything else to do now. I mean, I could kill this guy. Why not? Okay, man of the hour. Will we get man of the hour? Mechanical game. Oh, I see. Those are good. Those are good as well. Okay, so we're gonna retrain that soon. Okay, normal tax rate here. I think I think it's all good now. I think I'm gonna pass the turn just. Okay, let's go, let's pass the turn. Sure, <laughs> that one too. Ah uh, well. Can't have everything man. But yeah, I think I think color is just um, for me. I just wanted the blue color, and I got one with three colors, and now I only use red. <laughs> so because on the blue, the the keys are still very dim, the lights on the keys, and because I usually have a dark room, you know, I prefer to have a brighter color like red to see the the keys fairly well. Yeah. It's exactly like me. I prefer the blue, but the red is nice and it's better. All right, so who should be the Pope? Who should I support? Um, Hungary are my allies. Poland, I'm probably going to war with them soon. And Danish are my allies as well. Who should it be? Godfred the missionary or Kalman the peaceful? I think I think the missionary because I want to go to war and the peaceful is not very nice for me. Let's try that. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I have six votes on this. Six votes on this. All right. No problem. Okay. Relation improved with the PayPal states, of course. What do they have? Nothing. Okay. Almost three turns until they are down. Okay, so what happened to this castle? Nothing really. Okay, cool. I need to keep recruiting units here. Let's do that. Um, but I don't think I'm going to recruit anymore. Hmm. I have this city over here. I'm going to have to retrain some guys. So, uh, what could we do? 
Whoops, slap these guys over here. Perfect. Man, my spears got so badly damaged. Man, this battle, taking this city was really, you know, it cost me a lot. It cost me dearly. Uh, yes, I wish to speak with this army. Let's bribe them. Oh, they don't, they didn't accept the bribe. No. All right, no problem, no problem. No problem whatsoever. Okay, do I have a character? I do have a character. Okay, he can't die. There's icons in the game. What icons are you talking about? <laughs> what are the icons, Spike? Okay, so you're almost there. Alright, what about this one? Agents, yes, I got another priest. That's nice. 56% Catholic. Okay, I don't need any more troops there. I still have no idea where the Mongols are. Bottom right. These ones? Like the money and stuff? Of people. Wait. I have no idea what you are talking about. <laughs> Bottom right, it's somewhere here, right? I I think. <laughs> Maybe not. I'm very slow sometimes, you know. So, it is what it is. The graphics overall. Oh yeah. Well, it's it's charming, you know, it's very charming, no problem. Do you want to see the new transitions I made? I got a couple. Right, what can we, I'm just going to upgrade this city. I think it needs, it's time to. What about this? Um, let's get that, let's upgrade the city as well. Going to have to upgrade all of them. <laughs> Is it that bad? <laughs> oh, Jesus. I mean, I like myself some blocky guys, so I guess that's it. Okay, okay. Man, this is gonna take a while until this uh, this city has a full army to go to. But l look at the transitions. Let me check. Okay, I'm gonna put on the browser one. And now I'm gonna go back to the one. It does a swoosh. Swoosh. I don't know. Did, did them today. Yeah, 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 made, made it myself. Um, Greetings. I took you today. a video editor and I just started um, messing around with it to make a transition and that, that's what I came up with. Thank you. And I've got to put the work into it. Sure, let's have traded Russia. I think Mr. Putin would be proud of me for trading with Russia. You know, we, we gotta put in put the work into the into the stream, otherwise, you know if I don't take care of it. Okay, yes, please. And we are under siege. Ah, but now I have more money. Maybe, just maybe. Ah goddamn. <laughs> no. Exactly. That, that's that's uh, that's exactly it. You're right. Okay, so can I do this? Oh, he has so many peasants. Of course I can do this, but he also has some feudal knights. Um, I got the advantage of having the crossbows, so let's try it. Yeah, I've, I've been trying to just get a little bit, get some more elements in the stream so that, um, you know, it becomes a little better and uh, easier to watch and easier to stay and whatnot. Then I need to start looking for emotes. 
and making some emotes and stuff. That's gonna be fun. All right, what can I do here? Okay, I'm gonna put some crossies on the on the walls. All right. Uh, I'm gonna put one more guy over here. I think I think that's good enough. Okay. Which are? It's this guy, this guy, this guy. Okay. I'm gonna put some more over here. And I'm putting um, them on the sides because it's more likely that they can hit. Okay, I'm just gonna put two guys here. I'm gonna put put these two over here. Because they might decide to attack, who knows. Alright, um, and my infantry, man. My infantry is doing so poorly that I really don't want to have them in... I, I really don't want to involve them in the fight. So let's try to see what I can do with the cav. I only have three units of cav though, but um, we'll see, we'll see. They have a lot of peasants, so I might be able to start a mass route, and that'll be fun. Okay, uh, you guys, uh, no, peasants, come on, come on, peasants. I know you, I know you want to, mm. Jesus, I hate this. Pathfinding in, in total war. Okay, let me try to get, actually, the trebuchets working on them. Because maybe, just maybe, man, I can't, I can't move the trebuchets either, so. Well, oh, here we go. Actually. Uh, okay, okay, okay. Here we go, here we go. That's perfect, that's perfect. Let's go. And you too. And now let's start the battle. Ah, uh, that's what I like to see, all of these bows over here. Okay, okay. Oh, and because they're trebuchets and not catapults, they can actually fire over the walls. Catapults would have a harder time doing that, so... Okay, let's see. They're absolutely running. So there's no point in having my crossbows on the walls. Let's put my crossbows all here. Get my cavalry outside. And everybody's gonna be happy about it, I hope. Alright. And we have one unit of spearmen that I can put outside as well. <laughs> That's nice. Now, one thing that I cannot have happen is... Ooh, that's nice, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Snipe their general. Is this their general? What are they trying to hit? Okay. Oh, God, yes. So this is gonna be cool. The... I don't I don't think they're very good in melee, let me check. They have good, good defense, but they don't have melee attack, you know. So... You know, it's a bit hit or miss. If I can swarm them, it's okay, but look, their army has a lot of peasants, right? Peasants only have 5 attack, 3 defense, so I should be fine. Especially because I am taking them down with, um, with siege. Slowly, but surely. Alright, so here's what we're gonna do. We're going to attack those guys. We're gonna just do that. Ah, too bad, it didn't hit that cav. Alright, I, I... One of my horses has died. That was the worst charge I've ever seen, okay? And that was uh, also the worst <laughs> charge I've ever seen. Alright. Lusitanian javelin, man. Of course it is. We remain true and wholehearted, oh, oh no. Victory will be ours. I lost one of my guys. Alright. I'm gonna have my calf go back because I need a decent charge in them. Okay, they're broken, they're broken. Okay, that was that was good. Now, they are only swordsmen, uh, so I think I'm going to charge this. Or maybe I'm going to wait for some more um, my crossbows to get out here. Maybe some more of the siege, but, um, you know, it's kind of boring just sitting and waiting for <laughs> for the siege to do the damage. Even though they're they're almost gone here, no? No, they're still about 80% ammo. 
Alright, so this is crossbows, this is almogarves, okay, what do we have? Dismounted. So as you can see, like, they don't have any... You know, peasants, peasants. Let's get my guys over here, and then just charge them. Hey, Samoja, that's exactly what they wanted for you to... <laughs> ah, they will not be able to slaughter me, my friend. They will not be able to slaughter me. I can tell you that. Alright, let me just do this. This is gonna be a slaughter for my side. Right, who do they have there? Peasant crossbow. Alright, let's get let's get these guys over here. They have those are jinetes, so alright. Let's kick them in the groin there. That's gonna hurt them. Not really, because no charge. Okay, I'm going. I'm going to try that. Really use just one unit of cab at a time. I think there's advantages to both. It's clearly easily e more, more easier to just micromanage one. Okay, I think they're gonna go for that. Let's take those guys out. Okay. Can I get there with my general? Come on, yeah, yeah. yeah. They're they're completely surrounded now. This is why I use more than one unit of cav. So that I can uh, surround them. Uh, yes, yeah, Spike. I could go. I could go two X. But I'm still waiting for more crossbowmen to come. Battle is in our favor. And I have no Very idea where they are. And Victory will be ours. Now let me take the crossbowmen here. All right. Now it's time to bail. Come on. It's time to bail. Are they running? No. Let me try to go around this side while my, my crossbows will do some damage, I hope. Let me put them a little bit forward there. Like, uh, this is so bad. Okay, I think they're coming for my crossbows. So I can only hope that they can still go for a volley, but they have a lot of defense, so... They should be able to survive. Right, General's bodyguard there. You guys can stay there. What are those guys? Dismounted feudal knights. Alright. Oh, let's see this charge, actually. Come on, guys. Actually, I need a nice charge on them. Alright, now the feat seems certain. They are losing, man. Okay, I'm going to retreat with my with my guys. And then we were gonna charge again. We're gonna go again. The battle is in our favor. Of course it is. Okay, general, actually you're not going to charge this. Okay, let's charge the peasants. What are these guys gonna do? What sort of damage will they do? Praise to our Lord. Easy. Our men have slain the enemy general. Now his men will lose heart. To a number on the cavalry. Yeah, they just have one, one unit of cav. So I'm not very worried about cav. And that is why... And they don't have any spears. And they have a lot of peasants for some reason. So that is why I'm not very worried about, uh, about sallying out. You know what I'm saying? So I only have one unit of spears really. Because these guys are all... Very, very... Damaged, right? These units are damaged. So I only have one viable unit of spears. Ooh. Right. So these dismounted guys. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna get out with this cav. Do peasants also count as spearmen? Because if they do, then this is um. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I agree with that, Samoja. Just charge and immediately retreat. Just like that. And now go back. Alright. So let me take a look at my uh, crossies. Let's go. 
I don't understand what they're doing. I think they're all going for that unit. Uh, they have a lot of guys going for that unit. Let's just run it around. They will get tired and they will also try to uh, go away. Ooh, no. Alright. That is more... Let's actually run run towards my crossbows, because maybe my crossbows will be able to start shooting at these guys. Are they actually shooting at these guys? I don't know. Uh, where, who are you shooting at, guys? I don't know. Right, I need to approach my crossbows then. Okay, let's go. Uh, I have a castle nearby, so I'm gonna be able to replenish those horses fairly easily. No problem. I just need to do as much damage as I can with the crossbows, I guess. Okay, we killed 40% of them, actually, so I'm, I'm actually doing fine. You always lose like one or two calf per charge. That's why I tend to use one. Yep. Yeah. Yep, the only disadvantage with that is that you probably take a little bit longer to route. So you might actually end up losing more cav. And it's it's not always, obviously. But I think you could definitely lose more cav. Alright. They are coming for my general. Let's charge them in. Okay, I think I think that they are dead now. Perfect, they're broken. They're going out. Okay, I'm gonna try to go for some of the peasants so that I can get that um, uh, army loss penalty. Okay, my crossbows are all shooting, so that's pretty good. Hmm. Okay, let's go. Let's go up there and try to to get. Oh, let's do this. They're they're going back. This actually might work for me. Okay, that was actually a pretty decent charge. Go back. Oh no. Go back, you go back as well. Okay. What kind of damage are my crossbows doing? Oh, my crossbows are firing at those guys. So those Lusitanian javelin men are down. If you're playing on very hard, that makes... That makes a lot of sense. Uh, this is hard difficulty, if I'm not missed... Or normal. I actually don't know. Alright, go back. I actually don't know what's the battle difficulty here. So peasants are easy to route. But usually you need more than one factor, so go for the weaker units. Um, and then it'll be easier to route everybody else. Because of the army loss. Okay, so they're already losing so many guys. They already the lost so many guys. Uh, for battles, I, I, I prefer normal, just so that the AI doesn't have um, bonuses to attack and defense. Because if you guys are using the same units, for example, if you're using a Spear Militia and the AI are using a Spear Militia, then this, the AI's units will be better. And I don't really enjoy that. Right, I'm gonna move my crossbows forward. Damn. Go, get out of there, Kev. Okay, I need to just uh, order them like this. Let's get my crossbows here. They are breaking. Okay, so I've already killed enough army that they start breaking. It is unwise to praise the day mm, that's the only the only campaign I didn't try yet. And forging a worthy <laughs> victory. It's uh, it, it actually is the only campaign I haven't tried yet. Okay, I'm gonna get out of there. 
Even though they are just peasants. Oh, dismounted feudal knights. They came for me. That's okay, no problem. Nothing I cannot handle. Okay, that's it. So, so many of of their guys are were going away that um, they just broke. They all just broke. So now it's just wait for my crossbows to kill these guys. And of course, that my cav is going after some of their units. I think I think that. My favorite campaign is actually the normal, but on Kingdoms, the Crusades campaign is pretty cool. The Teutonic Order campaign is pretty cool as well. Um, I haven't played the Americas, and I think I only played a tiny little bit of the um, of of Britain, the Britain campaign, the British one. This this one is still my favorite, though. All right, let's keep. Let's get those guys. Well, I got ninety-three percent of them. That's not too bad, is it? Oh, wait, wait, wait! No, I can kill those guys, and I'm also gonna kill those guys. So maybe even. Ooh, ninety-nine percent. Okay, I love that. Let's go. All of Christendom will be all. I knew. I knew I was gonna do it. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Um, of course, they didn't accept that. They're done. Okay, cool. Let's repair the walls then. And I need to replenish my crossbows again. Fortunately, I don't have a lot. I don't have a lot to, to replenish. So that's fine. Okay, that unit of Kev is going to have to go yes. all the way over to Valencia. And I'm going to send this unit of Kev in. Okay, that's perfect. That's amazing. So here, Portugal is trying to attack me. Uh, I don't really like this. Um, what do these guys have? I need more, more ships, don't I? Right, let's get a bunch more war galleys, galleys here, yes. so that I can just um, face this Spanish navy. Because I need to take some troops out of here. Like, yes. look at that. I have a lot of troops. And I need to take them out of here. And the Spanish are still supplying this army with more troops. So that's definitely something I need to take care of. Let's see here. Okay, we're almost taking care of the Byzantine Empire for good. That's uh, something I wanted to do. That's something I will do very soon. Um, actually, I have four priests here. I don't think I need more priests here, but um, I'm going to take one more here. Boop. Right, what do we have? What do we have? Okay, that sounds perfect. What is this? Mission success. Wonderful. City ready to upgrade. Yes, please. These are really, really basic stuff like, you know, upgrading settlements and stuff. Just need to go through all of the all of the buildings and, and whatnot. Just to make sure that every city is being upgraded and built upon. It will really help the economy. So that's what I'm going for here. Alright, I'm gonna need that to get some more troops. Hmm. Uh, it's pretty interesting if you are playing as Spain, because it's always a race against the clock. You are ridiculous. <laughs> on, on the Americas, yes, yes. Um, I've seen yeah. Let's Plays of it, and it seems fun, but a bit frustrating at the same time, you know? I just didn't even know. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. It just seems a little bit too frustrating, and um, I think I prefer the melee to the gunpowder units, so I end up just uh, just playing this one and the other ones. Kind of the problem I have with Empire is the gunpowder as well. Well, and and the whole game, like 
uh, the whole game I also prefer yes. this one, so... Okay, I'm gonna go get them to Stoffen, and I'm gonna pass the turn, because I definitely wanna go hit there and take that city. I uh, I mean, that castle, I need to take... The car the cannons are pretty good, like... I had a, a siege battle not long ago, where... Where I had two catapults, and they were doing, like, 3% damage a shot to the walls of my enemy. That's ridiculous, at least the cannons just render walls useless, and that's fun. That's what I consider fun. Destruction. Okay, one more spearman fixed. Ooh, that's gonna go, that's gonna take a, a little bit. Alright. Construction report. Ooh, let me see this. Okay, let's just uh, do that. Who are these? I Egypt. Ah, Egypt. So, you want to go to war. Okay. I know this is not Malta. This is um, Crete. I think I think it was called Iraklion. Um, but uh, I think it was Spike told me, hey, you should change that to Malta. And I was like, yeah, why not? Why not change it to Malta? You know... So if you guys notice some weird names going on in the in the campaign, that's why. Okay, so let's do that. Let's do that. Um, what what other city? Okay, I had this city that I also needed to get upgraded. Ah, this was the one. All right, let's do this first then, because I I need those crossbows, those pavis. Cr Wait, ah, I already have them. Ah, screw it. I already have them. Can I get cannons here? I can. Let's get some cannons here, actually. Let's play with some cannons. You know, let's destroy that fort with cannons. Alright, and I had the fleet over here, yes. Yes. Okay, that's nice, that's nice. Those are nice boaties. And I'm just gonna take the castle units away. Uh, I mean, the city units away. Boom. Uh. Hmm. Now this guy, this guy is coming with. Okay. So I'm three to one against this guy. Oh, he's only mercenaries. Wait, can I get any mercenaries as well? No. You probably got all the mercenaries. Two units of Grand Bomber destroy the gate, destroy the towers, and put something like eight holes in a wall. Oh, beautiful! I want that. All right, I think I'm gonna defeat this um, Spanish army first. Uh, the only thing that scares me is the trebuchet, but um, I have enough calf to go around and and fight it. So let's go. I'm gonna I'm gonna take this one out. Um, then I'm gonna fight the Portuguese on this island. I want to take them all out. And next turn, I'm gonna have the Bombards. I'm not gonna have a lot of um, spearmen, but I think their castle is pretty pretty much undefended. So, I think that will not be a problem. Let me just take my swordsmen. They're not a lot, they're just... Six units of infantry. Uh, and a lot, <laughs> a lot of knights. So actually, to be fairly honest, let's just put the infantry behind my cav. This is gonna be classical, um, medieval warfare. Like, the middle-aged warfare with, the, with all of the horses, that's what this is going to be. Okay. Ah, oh, so many horses. I love it. I've already defeated an entire armies just like that. Okay, let's just uh, get them. Let's charge them. There are no English. Take those Frankish knights out. All right. So the Hinetes should be. Uh, Running away very very soon. The battle right. is in our favor. If we remain true and wholehearted, 
Victory will be ours. It's time to retreat now. Let's see if anybody is um, pursuing. No one is pursuing. So now we're just going to take our infantry into the fray. All right, so it's a, it's a lot of confusion in, in their ranks. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I like. God, I'm just... Okay, let's try to get these guys. What are these guys? Mercenary crossbowmen, they are running. Okay. Where's my cav? Okay, I need to go take out... gonna take these guys out here let's take those guys out there okay so if, if you've never used this button over here this is what it's for when you don't have banners it's really really useful to take that all right let's do that let's do that Okay, I think that's irrelevant now. Okay. Oh, that was a nice... That was a nice charge. Too bad it was on the wrong unit. <laughs> okay. Hey, Viking, what's up? I do! This time it was just Only dismounted feudal line. I'm telling you, Viking, on this campaign you'll see everything. Hey, EB, what's up? How are you, man? I do. I I need I need some. Fuck this. I'm out, guys. Never never coming back. <laughs> Every single time, but it's my fault, right? It's my fault. Um, it's no problem. Uh, where's my cap, by the way? All right. Yeah, my general is always dead. I don't know what, what's happening, but my general is always d dead. How are you guys doing? Gibi and Viking, how are you guys doing? All good, I hope. You guys, I haven't shown you the, um, the new transitions on this channel. I'm going to show you the transitions real quick. Look at this. What do you think? Cool, huh? I mean, I hope. I made them today, that was really fun. Yep, 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 yep. Samoja. It's uh, absolutely because of that, because I charge him into battle. Praise the Almighty! Our um, enemy has lost his stomach to fight! It's it's just it's just the thing I do I do that. <laughs> oh have a nice coffee EB. Um I'm doing I'm doing very well myself. I am uh, making Venice expand. That's pretty good. You're absolutely right, Samoja, but um, I'm in this impulsive guy. I'm a huge turd, man. What can I say? <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I need I need to to start keeping my generals a little bit safer than than what I usually do. At least I killed the two enemy generals, right? <laughs> Oh, Viking. Alright, I'm just going to exit the fight. Did did you know that I am also... I'm now in Iberia. I am now in Iberia, guys. Okay, so this guy is dead. Now let's go for that. Let's actually do this. Another one bites the dust. I'm doing, I'm doing well. I'm doing well, Viking. Thank you for asking. Um... As, as I told EB just now, I'm just making Venice grow, and that is what makes me happy. That and you guys over in the, in the chat. That makes me happy as well. Yes. <laughs> we no Alright, Leonardo Diodato died. He's not my family, so I don't really care about him. <laughs> Alright. 
Let's get let's get some more units here. Um, what about this? This it is what it is. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna conquer that with those cannons right next. It's true. It's true. If you kill every single general in one turn, though, you can actually kill the faction. I don't know. I'm open for suggestions, but I don't know what I'm going to call it. But I'm definitely open for suggestions. I mean, I renamed Constantinople Rome V2.0, so, you know, I, I need to rename my hometown as well. <laughs> you know, just so that we're all in equal footing. Um, all right. Cardinal reports. What is this? Spain abysmal, of course, but they, they declared war on me. And Egypt betrayed me, of course. Those damn Egyptians. Do you guys have troops? No. Alright, let, let's take this. Let's take this now. Uh, yeah, right there. God. Uh, Alright then. You guys are just gonna get there. Boom! Who wants to see us, the Byzantine oh, Empire man. finally get destroyed? I'm gonna crush the Byzantine Empire right now. So, let's see, what what is this? Prince Prozian is the mean. Uh, wait, it's just three characters? And two characters? They have no troops, guys, it's just characters. Let's do it. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitch, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you so much.